Foxer. Well, new at five, one of the men accused of killing Memphis rapper Young Dolph was punched behind bars. Foxer Teens' Dominic Dillon is joining us live outside of the Criminal Justice Center. Dominic, his attorney tells you that he was attacked by another inmate last week. Yeah, Darcy, we're told that he was here at 201 Poplar on the fourth floor making a phone call when another inmate walked up to him and punched him. Now we've tried to get more information about the particulars. His attorney says he's still waiting to get those answers. Unfortunately, the jail is a violent place and uh, assaults are, are common. So common, Justin Johnson, the man accused of killing young Dolph, was attacked, according to his attorney. I haven't seen him since last week. I understand that another inmate in the jail attacked him. Johnson's attorney, Junie Ganguly, says his client was punched by another inmate on Friday while in the middle of a phone call. It happened in the visitation area at 201 Poplar. Anytime a client that you like is attacked, it's unfortunate, but... Yeah, that's life in the jail. Ganguly says he doesn't know what security protocols are in place to protect Johnson while in custody. But from his experience, things come to a screeching halt when he visits his client. When he's moved, when I come to see him, there's no staff movement, there's no inmate movement because of, his, of the high-profile nature of his case. I reached out to the Shelby County Sheriff's Office for comment. They sent me a short statement that reads, in part, this incident is under investigation. Ganguly says his client suffered some superficial injuries and did not attempt to fight back. Did not strike back. He has not been charged with any assaultive conduct. Johnson's law... Johnson's lawyer says they have a court appearance scheduled Thursday. He says they have filed for discovery materials in the Young Dolph case, but plan to let the judge know they haven't received that full package yet. Reporting downtown, Dominique Dillon, Fox 13 News. Thank you so much, Dominique. Well, Justin Johnson is one of three people facing charges in connection to Young Dolph's murder. The 23-year-old was taken into custody by U.S. Marshals on January 11th at a truck stop outside of Terre Haute, Indiana. Johnson was then extradited to Memphis two days later, where he was indicted on several charges, including first-degree murder. But Johnson maintains his innocence. Hey, this is Joker News. You know what it is. Hit that like and subscribe, and let's jump right into it. So as you see, those law enforcement agencies right there, they revealed the new information about the two men charged in the killing of Young Dolph. Yes, new details are coming to light in the arrest of the two people charged with killing the Memphis rap legend, Young Dolph. The news conference comes less than a day after the story broke across the world. Tips in from across the country and Memphis police vetted hundreds of leads to arrest these individuals. U.S. Marshals have logged hundreds and hundreds of hours checking in Indianapolis, Dallas, Houston, and Atlanta following different tips, according to U.S. Marshal uh, Tyree Miller. Now, officials in Virginia received a tip that Justin Johnson was traveling on a Highway 42 in India, and U.S. Marshals Great Lakes was contacted to help stopped the car as it uh, pulled into a truck stop in Brazil, uh, Indiana, outside of Terre Haute, and apprehended Johnson safely. There was one other person in the car with Johnson, Shundell Barnett, 27, who was allegedly providing assistance to Johnson since authorities have been looking for him and will face accessory charges. Now, Johnson and Barnett are being held in separate jails in Indiana, while awaiting extract, uh, extra, uh, extradition to Memphis. And now the Putnam uh, County Sheriff's uh, Office in Indiana shared photos of Johnson and Barnett, or Burnett being uh, taken into custody. And according to the U.S. Marshal Service, Barnett has been charged with accessory after the fact to first-degree murder, criminal attempt to commit first-degree murder and theft of property between $10,000 and $80,000. And that's like big money right there. And so Johnson waived everything to be uh, ex uh, extradited uh, to Memphis immediately. Now Memphis Police Chief uh, C.J. Uh, Davis thanked 
multiple agencies for their help in arresting all the suspects in the murder of Young Dolph. The case will be handled in the Shelby County District's Attorney's Office, according to District Attorney Amy uh, Weirich. When Johnson was 17 years old, he was accused of raping a woman at a hotel and also served federal time and was released in May of 2021 from the Federal Bureau of Prisons, official said. Now, if you didn't know that, that's some pretty dark news right there. At this particular time, we cannot discuss the specifics of the evidence because indictments are still pending, Chief Davis said. There was enough evidence to get the case to this point. Now, another name that came up during the press conference was Terian Owens, the man who was allegedly with Cornelius Smith during the November carjacking of the white Mercedes that was used and later recovered. Now, court documents obtained by Fox 13 showed Owens was originally arrested and charged with the carjacking as well as convicted felon, possession of the handgun, aggravated assault, and other felonies on November 12, uh, 2021. Now, by December 2nd, Three weeks later, all seven charges were dismissed. Fox 13 asked Chief Davis about Owens. She had this to say, any person that might be associated with a specific crime is a person of interest. I'm not sure at what point of what level Mr. Owens is involved in this. We're still investigating. As we mentioned before, this may have a rippling effect. There may be more involvement and more charges in the days to come, Davis said. Now, Chief Davis also said that there could be more evidence uh, that leads to more people being connected to this crime at this time. Owens has not been named as a suspect in this case by law enforcement, and those original charges were dropped. Owens was also behind bars when young Dolph was murdered on November 17th. Um, now, the U.S. Marshal said that one of the suspects, 23-year-old Justin Johnson, was captured in Indiana on Tuesday, January 11th, around 3 p.m., according to the Shelby County District's Attorney's Office. The second suspected gunman, Cornelius Smith, was also arrested and booked into Shelby County Jail, charged with first-degree murder for the rapper's death. Now, Smith is also charged with attempted murder for allegedly shooting at young Dolph's brother, who was with him inside Makita's Cookies at the time of the shooting. And Johnson's arrest comes less than a week after the marshals identified him as one of the people responsible for the death of young Dolph, whose real name was Adolph Robert Thornton Jr. Now, Johnson took to social media shortly before his capture, announcing that he would turn himself in at the 201 Polar, but he never showed up, according to the Shelby County District Attorney's Office. And so, Smith, 32, is also charged with first-degree murder, along with attempted first-degree murder, and unlawfully carrying or possessing a weapon, employment of a firearm with an intent to commit a felony, and theft of property between $10,000 and $60,000. Now, Smith was arrested on December 9th in South a uh, Avenue on an auto theft warrant uh, involving the white Mercedes-Benz vehicle used in Young Dolph's murder, according to the Office of Shelby County uh, District Attorney Werich. Now, where its office said that the Mercedes was stolen in a carjacking on November 10th, and 10th at a uh, gas station on Kirby Road, working on information from, you know, a tipster who said the car was used in the murder of Young Dolph. Police found the car on November 20th in the 1100 block of uh, Bradley Street in Orange Mound. Three days after the world uh, re renowned uh, artist was gunned down, um... You know, Southern Police Chief um, Moore told Fox 13 that Smith was stopped on Airways Boulevard by the Dollar General just north of Rasco Road and arrested for a property crime. Smith was extradited from DeSoto County Jail to Shelby County Jail on Tuesday, January 11th. And, you know, this is just all some, like, big crazy news, but, like, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below you know don't forget to hit that like and subscribe uh, i'll keep you posted on these uh notes and uh this crazy news i'm gonna keep you updated with another video but hit that like and subscribe see you all later